So how's everyone doing? So I wanted to talk about what I call um, some jazz mints, or more specifically, jazz guitar mints. Um, the first um, and is probably the most sacrosanct is the fact that you do not need an arch top in order to play jazz guitar. Just played all this stuff off of a, a Telecaster, and yes, it's a nice Telecaster. It's a Nash T sixty three. And it's got some high-end components, and I'm playing through a Henriksen, um, but and things of that nature. But there's this whole ideology that in order for you to play jazz guitar, that you have to have the instrument of choice, which is an arch top. Um, I do have arch tops, and I love arch tops, and there's something about the connections of it. But you definitely can play jazz guitar off of a solid body. That's the first myth. Um, any solid body. I mean, I play jazz off of everything. Even Stratocaster. I don't play Strats on this channel because I'm just not a Strat fan. I love Jimmy, but that's not my thing. Um, but it could be everything from um, Tellies, any other types of solid body. Um, the other thing is that this is a humbucker in this, but I play it off a single coil. Um, as long as you're working with some good gear or you swap pickups and things of that nature, you should be good. So that's the first myth. You do not need an arch top in order to play good jazz guitar. Um, the second myth um, is one that has to do more uh, in terms of what I call where the rubber meets the road, which is string. And it's actually the second and the third. Um, it's flat wounds. There's this whole debate in jazz guitar about flat wounds and round wounds, or I should say most of 
uh, everybody that you look up or if you sort of Google, how do I get a typical jazz sound? They always talk about putting round wound strings on your guitar. That's not necessarily the case. There's guys like Bill Frizzell. There's a whole host of people who put round wounds on their strings without a wound G, quite frankly. And I'm breaking that rule right now. As you can see, um, you can't see, but you will see it in the third one. So one, in terms of where the rubber meets the road, the strings do not have to be round wound in order for you to get a really good fat tone. Uh, the third is string gauge, and I did a video about string gauge. Um, so I came up with the school of thought that you had to have heavy strings. For me, it was always 12s or higher. I went up to 14s. I think at some point, I, I don't know who made them, but I bought a pair of 15 strings. So it was, the recipe was, I need an arch top, I need flat wounds, and I need them to be 12 or higher. That was my recipe. Um, you do not need that. So when I'm playing on this guitar, I just restrung it. I've never even used this. Uh, what you heard was Ernie Ball Power Slinkies going from 14 to 38. Um, I'm sorry, from 11 to 48. Okay. This is what this guitar is strung with. It's not to Mastic Infels. It's not... Um, Dario Chromes or anything of that nature so you can get a good fat sound out of it and so um, yeah you do have to change your technique uh, my preference has always been to mastic but um, let's do the math on some of this stuff to mastic infell strings are currently selling for about $27.99 I bought these things for $7.99 took my to mastics um, that I had on there I think I had 12 or 13 put that on did a little bit slight adjustment on the truss rod and um, I got a fat sound out of that. Okay, so you don't need any of that. And these things were $7.99. So at the end of the day, if you want to play jazz guitar, equipment does matter, but it's really all about your fingers. Um, so you do not need an arch top. You do not need flat wound strings. And you do not need um, wire cables for um, strings. Um, it's all about your hands. It's all about the feelings and there are plenty of players who played that way. So thank you for watching practice practice practice